In this lesson I'm going to show you how to make this crossover basket solitaire. It looks quite complicated but it's a lot easier than it looks. Check it out. I'm using a strip of round silver wire that's 1.3 mil thick and it's 10 centimeters long and I've got a strip of silver here that's 1.5 mil thick by 3.3 mil wide and it's still slightly too big, I can still see the bezel around it, so I'm going to squeeze it down a little bit more to mark out four even points tied. <laughs> I'll go over those cuts with my three square file. In the third hand, I'm just going to freehand put the claws on. I've got my solder pick with a blob of flux there that I'll just um, dip the claw into first. bed in properly. Okay, that's better. Make sure to tap it both sides and then hammer it back to the th same thickness and then you can tap the sides again. So as you do that it thickens the metal again. mandrel and then just bring it round. Now if you've nominated a size for this then have your ring stick ready and make sure it's a couple of sizes smaller because then you can tap it up. See my shoulders aren't lining up yet. So get it closer onto my mandrel using my nylon pliers and then I'm just going to bend him up a little bit. Check that out. Pliers, I'll just bend the shoulders into a better shape. Of course I'll have the setting to work with shortly once I've bent this into the shape shape a little bit, I'll do the final shaping later on, but I'm going to tidy it up before we start working on the setting again. One going that way like that, and then the other one going the other way, and make sure that I get them the opposite way around when I turn it that way. So this one is going to go on the outside of this wire. You can see it's starting to take shape. Just try and tighten it up at the at this point here as well. So I'm just using my pliers just to squeeze the wires up a little bit.
there again I'll shorten them to the right length once I've got a better fit. So this one's just pulled itself out of shape as well, so just bend that round. Under rail. And this might pull the wires out a little bit here, so if that's the case, tighten it back up. I'm just going to use my round pliers to do that. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible, I don't want to put too many tool marks on. But everything I've done so far is light enough to just come off with emery paper. It's on the shoulder, just on the rail there, so it's nice and flush. So I can see from that angle that I need to file or keep filing until I get to a, a point. I'll do that on both sides and then I'm going to emery clean the inside here because once it's soldered together it's going to be too hard to get to. Now it's fitting better there but I've got the wrong angle on the other side so I'll just change that. Now it's fitting on a little bit better there, but when I place the setting in straight, I can see. And what I need to do on the inside there is just file a slight curve so that it fits the bezel better. I'm solder pre cut here, and first thing I'll do is I'll just solder the one shoulder onto the setting and once the solder just starts to melt into the joint right. now I'll stop I'll check that nothing's moved around Now I've got to try and create a nice round shape there where it's the two parts meet together. And it requires me to be a little bit forceful, but Just above the top of the bezel, so you see the cut there. What I can see is it's not quite level, so I need to just turn my burr slightly to make sure it's straight. So the angle I'm holding it is quite difficult to see if it's. You can use a smaller heart burr than this. A bit more cutting. So that the top of the burr starts cutting the top of the seating. That's probably all it needs. One next to it needs a little bit more cutting as well. On the inside edge there, I'll just give it a push with my brass pusher and just make sure the girdles nicely into the space that I created into a V there so I'll just grip the claw and 
because I'm pushing each time I'm just looking to make sure that the, the stone is level making sure that there's no gap between the girdle of the stone and the side of the clay table of the stone what I'm doing is I'm just rocking and rolling it around the claw and you'll see it start to burnish itself onto the stone the metal moves itself onto the stone you can get it till it's actually in contact So there, side view again, that won't catch on any. This will also close any gaps, if there are any gaps there, in around the edge of the claw. So you can pick it off with a flat graver, just make sure there's no little burrs around the edges there. Just a light emery around the back of the claws. Polish and you're done.